Now, the Mississippi Miracles Radiothon is still going strong. This is the fundraiser's 18th year. WJTV 12's Katie Rowe is live from the UMMC Student Union. Local radio stations are helping spread the word. Katie. <laughs> Melon Byron. Yeah, so many families benefit from this Radiothon, and soon even more families are going to benefit. That's because this year's earnings are going towards the construction of a seven-story pediatric expansion. And when they're done with that project, it's going to double the size of the pediatric space. Bentley is four years old, but he's been through more in his few years of life than most adults. Parlors is just where you um, miss an enzyme that breaks down the sugar molecules, and um, it can affect the brain, it'll cause like mental retardation, and the lifespan was like 10 years old. Just a few months after his diagnosis, before Bentley could even walk, he had to undergo a bone marrow transplant. I don't even know how to describe that feeling because you always think it's never going to happen to you. I was in denial for a long time. Like I was like, oh no, he's going to be fine. He's not going to have anything wrong. Jackson is five years old. He too knows all too well what it's like to battle a life-changing disorder. And it's called hereditary spirocytosis. Um, and most people don't even know what it is, but his body was destroying blood cells faster than he could create them basically. Both boys have different battles but each have the same team on their side. Blairy Batson Children's Hospital. This is our second home. We come here so many times a month usually. The doctors and nurses were right there explaining everything like in where I could understand. Now Bentley and Jackson's moms are telling their stories for the 18th annual Mississippi Miracles Radiothon urging people to donate and help other children like theirs. You never know when it's going to be you so just please consider it even if it's you know 50 cents a day that's a coke so just please make some type of donation even if it's just one time it will help somebody last year's radiothon brought in over five hundred thousand dollars and they're hoping to surpass that total this year now broadcasting wraps up tonight at seven it'll start again tomorrow bright and early 6 a.m but just because the broadcasting ends at seven tonight doesn't mean donate anymore you can still donate head over to wjtv.com to find out how for now we are live at umc katie rowe wjtv 12.